Welcome back to the second game of our doubleheader. I'm Matt Hill along with Mike Williams, and you're watching the WCT Game of the Week. And we are here at Independence High School where the Eagles are taking on the Summit Spartans, and we had a great matchup to begin this off with the uh, Lady Spartans and the Lady Eagles with the Lady Eagles prevailed. And tonight we should have the same type of matchup here with the men's action as we look at the Summit starters. We got Demonte Williams, number two, number three, Connor Barnett, number 13, Grant Robinson, number 23, John Carter, number 30, Preston Patterson. Young group of men over here. You know, young school here with Summit, just like with the ladies, a lot of young players. And they're thirsty. And they're gonna get some good wins here in Williamson County. And they are coached by Chris Ladd. And here we're going to get our first look at the Independence Eagle starters. As we've got Grayson Murphy, number 11, Brian Thompson, number 23, Austin Osborne, number 24, Calvin Williams, and number 34, Dion Sims. And, you know, thinking about uh, what we've seen in the past from Independence, Dion Sims is a man to watch out for. You know, we talked about Crawford in the ladies game for Summit being a speed demon. Dion Sims is definitely a speed demon for the Eagles. A lot of turnover for the Eagles compared to what the team they had last year. And you also got to think about the fact Vic Wharton's not playing uh, this season. And uh, he was definitely a catalyst on offense and defensively for the Eagles. So it'll be interesting to see who's uh, picked it up along with Sims. Ryan Thompson, uh, he was definitely one of the guys that did a lot of scoring, but it should be really interesting to see who's going to pick it up here tonight for the Eagles and for Summit. And there's the man we've been talking about, Deion Sims. He's going to run the point, and uh, the offense is really going to travel through him. Well, we're going to get set for the tip-off here. And it looks like we're going to have number 13, Grant Robinson. For Summit to try to control the tip. And then number 24, Calvin Williams. Both teams exchanging pleasantries before the beginning here. And this is what I'm talking about, Mike. You hear these two state student sections, they have come alive now. Summit not quite as packed, but they are just as loud. There's the tip. And the Eagles, well, they're going to say they were going to control, but it looks like Osborne's going to step over the uh, line and be out of bounds. We're going to see Carter inbound. I wonder what would have happened if he just let it go right there. Yeah. Because I believe that uh, Summit hit it first. There we see Barnett, the sophomore. 5'11", 160. Coach Glass starting off in a man-to-man -man defense. Barnett. Excuse me, that was Williams to begin with. I was thinking that wasn't 5'11". <laughs> Williams almost loses it. Williams going to drive. And one. Yep, he gets hip checked there. And you called it, Mike. He's going to go to the line, try to make the, well, maybe not. They didn't they give call it, it on the floor. They did call that on I'll the floor. Darn. Okay. Kind of surprised by that. Carter to inbounds. I'm not calling the game, man. To Patterson. And there we see Carter with the ball. Get it down low. Trying to feed Patterson. But we are going to see Williams with the foul, the senior. 6-1, Calvin Williams. 7-0-8 now in the first. Good battle in the, po in the low post down there. Nice job. That was a good feed. Thought that might be been the second there on Calvin Williams. 
but I think good. gave that foul to Austin Osborne. Patterson to the line. Oh, I thought he was going to rattle that one in. Makes the second. And Summit draws first blood. 1-0, 6.55 here. This is how we started out the ladies game. 1-0. Looks like Coach Ladd is going man as well to start his defense. Rattles out, no good. Ball up the floor. Oh, nice job there by Murphy. The freshman 5'11 to come slap that away. And you got to think Patterson's going to go a little bit stronger there. Nice move by Robinson, the senior, 6'1", 195. Sims off the mark. And you know, we talked about the uh, girls getting called a little bit loose. They are definitely calling it tight in the men's. That is the fourth team foul on Independence with only two minutes gone by. Good hedge on the screen there. Launch it in the, not so much. Not, maybe not the shot you're looking for right now. Too long from Williams. 3-0 now in the early going. 5.50 here remaining in the first. Thompson to inbound to Murphy. Murphy, just a freshman, over to Sims. He's got a 1-2-2 two, two going, I believe, on his zone for Summit. Again, looking to drive and dish right here, fellas. Just kind of passing around the perimeter right now. 5-17. Don't settle for the long jumper. There you go. Move the ball. Oh. Oh, they, they had a good look there. Rolled in and out for Williams. Tough shot. Tough wow. shot. John Carter. They made a movie about him, didn't they? They did. It was, it was actually a book first. Ah. Supposedly Star Wars was kind of based on it, but uh -huh. the movie wasn't that great. Disney can sue me if they want. All right. Rebound by Patterson. Carter's pushing the action. That was almost a nice pass. But good idea by Patterson, <laughs> but just a almost, bit almost off. a nice pass. <laughs> That's what I tell my, my seventh graders when we play. Almost a nice pass. Good idea. In and out. Carter with the rebound, 420. Zone defenses are designed to that was challenge a, shooters. That was a great drive and dish. 7-0, Summit, almost half the first quarter gone. Independent scoreless on their home court tonight. And you saw, I mean, that was textbook little play right there. Drive, Absolutely. pass, score. Summit driving up the floor, not allowing, not allowing Independence to get set up in, a, in any kind of defense, making it a bit on the frenetic side which can play into your favor. Now on the other end of the floor where Summit is playing their little 1-2-2 two, two zone, they're playing nice and tight and they're challenging these independent shooters to beat them with the long shot. 
problem with is at this level, unless you've got somebody that can really, really drain it, then you're going to have issues. You're going right. to have problems. So you've got to look to move the ball. You've got to look to penetrate that zone and hopefully get easy buckets. Don't settle for long jumpers. Same Not so much. Short. Carter with the rebound, and he's going to get fouled by Thompson. That is going to be the fifth team foul already for Independence. No points, but five fouls. Not what Coach Glass is wanting right no, out of the not gates. At all. That Coach has a tendency to play into your mind a little bit. Coach Glass, one of the better dress coaches in Williamson County. <laughs> Carter, nice move to the basket. Elevates and kind of hangs in the air. Nine point game now. Nice shot by Murphy, the freshman. 5'11 puts Independence on the board. With 3.05 to go. There you go. Good help side defense yeah. now from Independence. Nice job Looking by Murphy coming up with that ball. Up and under wow. off the glass. Holy smokes. What a tough shot. Over Five three points people. just like that. And there we see his timeout summit. Coach Ladd for summit not caring for what's going on with Independence right there. Well, maybe not with, for, what, for Independence, but with his own squad. Yeah. Started off great, and then Independence comes down and hits the driving layup and the long three ball. In, in the span of about 20 seconds. Maybe less than that. It was uh, it was 3.05 when he hit that three. And they came right back down the court. All right, 12 seconds, five-point swing there. Well, we said it in the girls' game beforehand. These games aren't won and lost in the first two and a half minutes. No, definitely not but they certainly can set the tone for the remainder of the game. Independence still content to play their man. Too much reaching. Good trap over in the corner. Long three. Got it. He got it. Barnett, the sophomore. 12 5. Back to a seven point lead. 2 14 now. Remaining in the first. Sims, I think it's somebody we got to see get involved in this offense. Got to try to make something happen. Pat Murphy couldn't find the mark. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Eagles retain possession. Under two minutes now here in the first. Very impressed with the Summit student section right now. Good choreography over there. <laughs> Very Duke-like. That's one thing we've got down here at Williamson County. <laughs> student section involvement. Carter keeps his dribble somehow. Not and anymore. lost it there at the end. Spoke too soon. I have a reach in on Summit. Second team foul. That's a way to bust a zone right there. Good D. Both teams playing with a great deal of energy right now to begin the game.
Eagles have definitely come alive. Nice job by Thompson. Tipping that ball. Williams now. Carter to take a long range shot. Good Not going to find the mark. Now, get down the floor before they have a chance to set up in that big zone. Williams needs to sit in the middle of that zone or flash to the middle of that lane and post up oh hard. Oh, my gosh. Murphy. Of course, right as I say that, Grayson Murphy comes down in Kansas Does second he have trade. all the points? For almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> I mean, he had the five. I, I, he does. Does he, he have all hit, of them? He has all 11 points right now for the Eagles. Murphy, the freshman. Well, if he keeps coming down and, and knocking down those 35-foot jump shots. And then he also have that drive in the lane. Then Coach, Coach Ladd's going to have to think, rethink, rethink this, uh, his, uh, his defensive stance. Two hands on the rebound. Good pass by Carter. Patterson Good action. couldn't hang on to it. And that's going to do it for the end of the uh, first quarter action. Where Good Summit energy. leads 12 to 11 in what, you know, he's, Look at that, it was seven to nothing. Seven to nothing, seven looked to like nothing. it might be a cakewalk for Summit here. Yeah, and then just roaring back. Number two, Grayson Murphy with all 11 points for the Eagles right now. There's one heck of a uh, job by that young man to keep the Eagles in the game. Absolutely. Murphy only a freshman as well. Yeah. Coach Glass has got to be uh, drooling just thinking about having him for the next uh, couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if he can keep knocking down long range jump shots like that. Pretty nice weapon to have against the zone. Uh, yeah, no doubt. The zone killer. Still, I would think that Coach Glass would look to go inside against that zone. See if he can get his bigs started down low on those blocks and see if he can get some nice drives and maybe some penetration and dish and dish off the glass there for some easy buckets. So far content to settle with the long range jumper. But also getting back up the floor and not allowing Summit to set up in that little 1-2-2 zone defense is going to be key for the remainder of the game. There's a big steal. Yeah, nice job by Sims. I feel like well, going again. Murphy, why not? Rebound Williams. Williams kicks out to Carter. Carter. Nice. We've seen some nice, nice drive. Nice drives by Carter tonight. Also another freshman. 14-11. John Carter, Grayson Murphy. Sounds like a law firm. <laughs> <laughs> or a uh, 80s sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> so far, a nice show, a nice offensive show by the two freshmen tonight for both squads. Calvin Williams, go down and sit down in that zone and ask for the ball. I'll say this, they've been very patient. Good There's Sims. Shot. Talked about him needing to get involved in the game, and you see it right there. And what I always really liked about watching Sims is you saw the elevation he had, and he just kind of hangs in the air. Good and slashing it, drive right there. And as the defender's kind of going down, he's just still staying in place. Hang time. Nice hesitation dribble. Nice job by Williams, no doubt about it. He kind of broke Sims down. 6-11, three-point game, 16-13. to Sims. Trying to give it right back to Williams. Take Can't make it happen. Rebound there by Williams. Missed shot. Williams to Carter. Good Carter thought. Robinson misses the mark, and he's going to draw a foul, too. A little out of control after he missed it. I 
dangerous. Yeah, that was a nice trap by Summit. Lucky. Uh, Back out, set up. See what you like. Eagles didn't turn it over. Summit gone, has gone back to a man defense here, gotten out of that zone look. Williams doing a very nice job on Sims. Now you wonder if. They see Murphy up and under. Huh. Nice. 15 to 16. He's got 13 points already. Good job, math teacher. Hey, there you go. Look out. I can count by twos. <laughs> I'm right out of fingers. Rebound, Williams. Good nice up and Nice job with the left hand, Nice too. left hand. Good job. 18-15. That's one two right there. Good hard work. Good, good, good effort. Under five minutes now here in the second. We have got three seconds. Three second violation. Get caught napping. Get two feet in that lane. Independence content to stay in that man defense. Carter. Good board. Nicely done. Two hands, two eyes, two feet. <laughs> Good job. I used to have a basketball coach tell me that all the time. Two eyes, two hands, two feet. Go get the ball. Nice. I can't say half the stuff the football coaches told me out there. <laughs> yeah. Four oh six now. Summit leads by three. Sims with the ball. Murphy down low to Sims. Good, see what you can do right there. Sims kicks it out. Now drive. Sims yeah. gonna pull it. That right. looks nice to me. Tie ball game, 18-18. Take that two. No doubt. Or that three, if you will. Nicely done. Not to score at 18. Carter thinking about it again. No, that wasn't Carter, sorry. He's got the ball now. Good steal. All the way, all the way, all the way. Trying to make up their mind. Call it on the floor. Good action tonight. Both these squads playing extremely hard. Excited to see these young men. Well, we got a future here in Williamson County basketball-wise, and there's one of them. Nicely Murphy. done. Elevating, makes it a 20 to 18 game. Now he's got 15, Mike, how about that? And Let's come back and watch him in, in three more oh, years. Oh, wow, One, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. That'll be fun. He's putting on an offensive show. No kidding. Started off a little on the cold side, but heated up and is now just absolutely taken over for the Independence Eagles. Yep. Nice shooting touch from the young freshman. job by the sophomore Preston you know talking about Murphy those uh, and how good a job he's doing for the sophomore here Preston this is just as important to make these shots from the free throw line absolutely you know absolutely it may not be as classy or as flashy but that's a big deal coaches love good free throw shooting absolutely when you can get 15 18 points from the from the line without having to work too hard for them we'll take it that's over the back there on uh, Austin Osborne, the junior. It's 
2020, 251 here left in the first half, and this has been one heck of a ball game so far. Summit could do themselves a great favor by knocking down some of these foul shots. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Right you before the half. Missed the first no one off there. and rebound. Nice job by number 25, Jack Klein, the senior, 6'1", 190. Great job of getting that offensive rebound, and even better putting it back and using the glass. 22-20. Like they just let's kick that sucker back to Murphy. No, <laughs> and we got to turn over Carter in that passing lane, and Carter looking to take it take all, the way. all the way. I mean, Lovely. he has got such confidence smooth. driving to the rim. Absolutely smooth. No worry on the freshman's face. Just like take it butter. up. Not a bad shot by uh, Murphy, just a little long. I like it, he's open, take it. Absolutely. Don't mess around. Under two minutes now, Summit leads by four. There it goes. Another three second yep. call. 145 now. Thompson. To Murphy. Murphy taking his time. Across midcourt. Oh, that dangerous. Was a, that was a nice job of uh, Barnett to get in that passing lane. Get that baseline jump shot. Not so much. Williams, how did he nice. hate, how did he keep the ball? Uh, and he's gonna get a ticky tack foul. Spoke too soon, should it? Would have loved that to have still hit him. was a great job of hitting that it ball. It was very nice. Would have loved to have seen him knock that layup down. Williams a senior. One of two for Summit. Both these squads showing a great deal of fight, great deal of sass going into the halftime. Neither one allowing the other to pull away. Sure you like that should, word? I was about to say, I'm sure these young men enjoy being sass, called, called you sassy. you got a lot of sass. <laughs> <laughs> that's I a, like that, dude. That's a compliment, fellas. You got some pep in your step. <laughs> Sims Long. with the three. I thought that might have had a chance. Rebound there by Barnett. Under a minute now. Williams to Barnett over to Carter. We got a blocking foul on Murphy. Fifty-one. That'll be the ninth team foul for the Eagles. One away from the double bonus. I guess you could call it a physical first half, couldn't you? You definitely could, and I like that. Nice job by Carter. That's a smooth stroke. Five-point game, and you talked about it. You know, if they're able to hit these free throws, they could really do some damage, and they certainly are right here. Good job. Uh, Give themselves By the a little, entire uh, team here. Yeah, sure. Give themselves a little, little stretch here right before the half. Give themselves a bit of confidence going into the locker room. 50 seconds now. Summit leads by six. Going Cross to court to Murphy. Murphy's going to pull up. And, and it's in. And that's going to be a cheap foul on Carter as well. That's not a man you want to be giving up cheap fouls. Send Murphy to the line. And I'm pretty sure we're about to see a really good free throw shooter right here. Nice. No question. No, no question about it. You could tell it in his body's language yep. when he went to the line. And the confidence. Yeah, Murphy with the huge Good. steal. Good pass. Good job by Carter to get in there and uh, deflect that ball. But I like the aggressive play. Sort of Summit falling asleep defensively right you're there. You're right about it. You know, you're up by six, kind of thinking you got a minute left. Let's coast. Let's chill for a second. Nice. And you're going to chill and you're going to be down by one. Or up only up by one with 25 seconds. Murphy all over the place. 20 seconds now as Williams crosses midcourt. Does wiping the shoes really help, Mike? <laughs> or does it just get your hands dirty? <laughs> Carter driving all the way, not going to happen. Rebound, Sims. Three, two, one, not. Williams couldn't get it off. 
not going to count if it goes 26-25 in what was one heck of a first quarter here at Independence High School. Very nicely done. Good. No doubt about it, where the Spartans lead the Eagles by one. And that was back and forth. I mean, that was a great, great first half. Good we'll first be back half. here with uh, second half action right after this. Too many of Tennessee's students drop out of high school. If you ask them why, you'll probably hear they just can't keep up because they don't have the reading skills. Success in school is based on success in reading, and learning to read starts with hearing words. With young children, storybook reading plays a special and important role. Uh, great. What's the last word? Small. Oh, good. Have fun with reading. Read the directions on the box and bake a cake together. Work with your child to cut coupons and make a grocery list. Read a book about different occupations. Then ask your child what they would like to be when they grow up. What about an eye doctor, just like your granddaddy? My eye doctor is much more. Um, he works with some glasses. He does Don't work. underestimate the impact that reading can have on your child's future. Choose success. Choose reading. This Choose Success moment has been brought to you by the Middle Tennessee P16 Council. Good evening and welcome back to Second Half Action here on WCTV. I'm Matt Hill along with Mike Williams and we're at Independence High School where the Eagles are taking on the Summit Spartans and what has been the Grayson Murphy show here in the first half. Not that uh, uh, the Summit Spartans haven't had their own people and other people haven't done some things like since, but <laughs> Grayson's put on a show tonight. 20 points. I mean, he's just hammered in the freshman doing a great job. Right now, Summit leads by one, and it has been a great back and forth matchup. There you see Summit Murphy right there firing away from the top of the key. Can't find the mark there. Rebound. Oh, I like that. Good I hustle play. Nice hustle play. I believe that was Barnett catching the ball, turning, throwing it off of Brian Thompson. Now Coach senior. Glass coming out in a little zone press, full court press. He's taking off the jacket as well. <laughs> Fashion update. Williams firing from the outside, can't find it. Sims with the rebound. Good look ahead. Track it down. You know, Murphy had the hot hand in the first half. I think he may come out a little bit confident here. Yeah, maybe a little over on the over overconfident side to begin things. Yeah. And there's the young man for uh, the Spartans has had the top hot hand. The other freshman, Carter. Nice job of breaking that press. Williams Left drives hand. all the oh, way. Very nice. He's in, Thought he was going to take the charge. Williams had his feet moving just slightly. Wilden, uh, excuse me, Williams, he's shown a propensity to drive and looks good doing it. Well, give it to Calvin Williams to stand in there and try to take that charge. Yeah. Something I tried to get my middle school boys to do all the time. That was Williams on Williams crime there. <laughs> Sims. Good one, Mr. Hill. Trying to get it across midcourt. Back over to Murphy. Almost lost it. You can't trust us Williamses. No, you can't. Knock that down. Not going to happen as uh, Thompson just a little bit long. Sims with a floater. 27-28, keeping it a one-point game now. 6-22. Nice drive by, by Sims. I, and, and you know what? I like nobody. The ball did not touch the ground on that. That is the exact way you need to break that press. Absolutely. But you don't need to settle for jump shots. Nope. Patterson couldn't find the mark. Murphy trying to get a little closer. He's 0 for 3. 3 to start off. 
Williams going to pull up. Nope. Kick it back out to Sims. Carter taking on Sims. Murphy got a 1-2-1 one, one zone. Sims and Murphy can shoot. Could be dangerous in this zone. Forced shot. Oh, that's going to be out of bounds off of Williams. Independent starting off very cold to start the second half. Still just a one-point game, though. Very lucky. Carter to inbound to Williams. Good drive Barnett up the sideline. down. Wisely comes back to try to set up the offense. Left hand. Try to go off the glass. Carter, how do you hang on to that ball? I don't know, Lenny. He's going to travel. Again, this is what we saw in the, in the girls' game. Just because you hit the deck is not a reason to make that automatic walking call, that automatic travel call. Agreed, 100%. Give the man a chance to hustle. If he and rolls he was around. In, and he was in the process of trying to pass it. Absolutely. Sometimes that's automatic for some referees. You hit the deck. It's not necessarily a license to call the, the traveling call. I will say that other than uh, that, the referee's done a good job tonight. Sims misses it. Good Rebound, ball. Thompson. Great job of following that shot. And Independence takes the lead here, the first of the second half. 442 remaining here in the third. Uh, out of control there, Robinson. And we talked about, you know, how they broke that press, not dribbling. I think somebody may have hit the backboard. Grayson Murphy, I think he got smashed in the mouth right there. Yep, looks like he might be spit, spitting a little blood. Yep, they're calling him to come out. Cannot bleed anymore. <laughs> no bleeding on the basketball floor. I remember, uh, like, and now you can't even have it on your jersey or anything, can you, can you? Don't think so. They see blood, they're gonna, yeah. they're gonna stop it. I remember, uh, the center next to me getting his nose broke in the middle of the game and having blood all down his jersey and still playing. Still playing. That's back in the old school days. Yeah, no, that was just in 96. <laughs> to me, it doesn't seem that long ago. But that is long ago now. That it's is almost, long ago. Almost, we're heading on 18 years. Absolutely. Speaking I'm of 18 years. I'm creeping into that old fart category. <laughs> Speaking of 18 years, here's a song. Oh, yeah. 30 yeah. years old. And the kids still love it today. Oh, I know. Did, did you have Rachel uh, Hickman? Don't think so. She probably was about as big as, uh, oh, what's her name? As Crawford from the girls' game. And uh -huh. she sang this song, and I thought, oh, yeah. oh, Lord, I can't believe she's about to sing this. She belted it out better than Steve Perry. Than Steve I'm Perry. Not, it was crazy. I was shocked. That's for those of you who know Rachel Lippman at GMS, for the rest of you, who cares, right? <laughs> All right, Independence to inbound. Sims takes it. Nice handles. Over to Thompson. Good job. Summit now in their man-to-man. -man. And I think that's a good matchup, although you see the reach-in foul. Williams. Guys, even if you are... Even if it's all ball and that referee is standing behind you and you reach, that referee is going to pop that whistle. Yep. But I, I do think that's a good matchup. Williams on Sims, both of them speed demons. Yep. And both of them tenacious. Very much so. Both have seemed to shut each other down tonight. Yes. To a degree. Like double negatives. Canceling nice move each by other Sims. Out. There you go. Yeah. You got to prove you're wrong. Canceling each other yeah, out. No, no, right. no. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to score. I'm not getting shut down. Good left hand on the on the layup drive yeah. there. Carter cross court to Barnett. Barnett about to get trapped over there. Needs some help. Fire over that to Carter. Right there. Carter's going to fire. Not so much. Rebound there by Thompson. Was thinking he might be involved offensively there. Settled for the three. He had about uh, ten feet, maybe eight feet. He could have he could have driven in, pulled up for the short range jumper. You know, I think sometimes uh, these young guys get a little bit antsy when they haven't, you know, taken a shot in a little bit and had the ball in their we hands. We fall in love with three-point shots. Yes, no doubt. It's like I was listening to Mike and Mike in the morning on the way in, and uh, they were talking about some changes, you know, uh, to the uh, game. Uh -huh. And uh, Mike said his dad hardly watches basketball anymore because they implemented the three-point shot. Too much, too much three-point shooting. Yeah. 
So because the object of the game used to be to get yourself the best possible shot that you could, and now people just jack it up from That's everywhere. Right. And that is going to be a turnover by Summit. Ill-advised cross-court pass. Instead of working so much on three-point shots and windmill dunks, we need to be working on layups and foul shooting, said the coach. I don't think there's a lot of windmill dunk operation happening. Yeah, probably the, not, but I know not for that's me. not for lack of want to. Sims, he's going nice. to take it. He says, you two old farts, stop talking about not shooting threes. <laughs> I've got this down. That's a nice shot. Nice, it was nice a great jumper. shot. And Good pass. Dish. Up. That's Klein. Does he? Uh, I thought he had it. Klein did a good job, though, I thought, of hesitating there momentarily. And we're going to have a foul. Good hustle. Is that on uh, Murphy? That's not Murphy. We got 2-0? Yeah, we got uh, got a couple of players down for both schools. Okay. Looks like they probably may have banged heads on the, Couldn't on tell the who floor there. On. But Murphy is back in the game as uh, – Austin Osborne comes out. 231 now. Fast paced action tonight. Williams with the ball. Clean in his shoes. Klein, the senior, to Carter. Back to Barnett. The freshman Carter, John Carter, man with the ball now, needs to be a little bit more involved with the offense. He's kind of disappeared here in the second half. Yeah, he, he was a huge part of it in the first half. I think that might have been a foul. Great pass by Klein, the senior. Jack Klein feeds it in to Robinson. If Robinson gets hammered. He's going to go to the line now. Good job. Cut to the basket hard. Be rewarded. Yep. And Summit did a really good job in the first half of making these free throws. And right now they're down by six. They're going to need to try to claw their way back into this, and they got an opportunity to do it right here from the strike. And Robinson does it right there, Grant cutting Robin it to a five-point game. Grant Robinson with a nice, nice touch from the line. I always like to have a confident free throw shooter up there. Makes them both four-point game. Very impressed with the way this team has shot free throws tonight. 2:04 now. Independence leads by four. Murphy with the ball. Man defense by Summit. Maybe not. Now Sims. they're back into their 2-3. Thompson a little short off the front of the rim. Williams across midcourt, 140 now. Good anticipation on the lob pass. Yeah, that was a good job by Thompson. Thompson nice. Nice pass. Oh, wow. That was a nice exchange there offensively, giving it being unselfish yep. play there by the Eagles and allow them to get to the line as Thompson's got an opportunity to shoot two, try to get, extend this lead to six. Smart play by the freshman. A number of times the freshman will just want to go in there and and go ahead and take it on up yeah. in, in traffic. Yeah. That was, and, and you know, you got to give it to Pierce. Number 14, you know, he had, he had an opportunity to shoot that, and he saw Thompson streak and gave it up unselfishly. Yep. Pierce just a sophomore as well. A lot of young guys on both these squads. <laughs> 36, makes them both. We're seeing some excellent free throw shooting tonight. Williams, look at the speed by that young man. Great pass to Klein. Klein off the glass, cuts Very it back nice. to four. That was created by the hustle and determination. I mean, just like, I'm going Demonte down the sideline. And all you had to do, somebody had to cut that sideline off, use him as another man. Yep. But he was not going to be denied. Sims elevates in the middle of the lane, nice puts job. it in. Sims not going to let Williams outdo him. We got a trap in the corner. Sims with the ball all the way. Not going to do it, but he's going to be fouled by Sims. One minute now here in remaining in the fourth. Been a pretty clean, uh, third, excuse me, been a pretty clean uh, third quarter. These two guards going at it. No doubt. DeMont DeMonte Williams and Deion Sims putting on quite the show. In and out. Fun to watch those guys. Oh, yes. Lots of energy. No quitting their motor. That is the fifth team foul on the Eagles. I think the difference between the two, DeMonte Williams is a little bit more drive and dish oriented, and Deion Sims is a little bit more score oriented. 
Both good qualities to have in your guards. Amen, amen. Five-point game now. Under a minute. Murphy with the ball. Got a little cold in the second half, but it's still I have no problem with him shooting it if I'm an uh, Eagles fan. Down to 43, over to Sims. Coach Ladd changing up his defenses on just about every possession now. Before they were in the 2-3, now they're back into their man. Thompson over to Sims. Sims to Williams. Over to Thompson. 20 seconds now here. Looks like he wants to hold for the last shot. Up by five. And clear that out, fellas. And, and they're doing just that. Set that high screen. Sims over to Thompson. Thompson pulls the trigger to the top of the key. Got a good look. Rebound Carter, two, oh, one. Double dribbled it. Yep. Sure did. Point seven now, and they're going to have the ball here at midcourt. Enough time to get a tip in. Maybe. 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 Yeah, Carter coming down the floor realized he didn't necessarily have to shoot. Oh, oh wow. Close. Close. LeBron Very James close. Was, would tackle him out in the middle of the floor if he'd hit that. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. That's going to do it for the third quarter. And that quarter was all independence. Independence leads five by five, 38 to 33. Even with Murphy being cold here in the third. The home I'll squad still Sims, has a, a five-point lead. Thompson, uh, good all-around effort by the Eagles. Summit still very much in this game. You also got to think about right now two more fouls, and they're in the one-and-one. One. They're in the bonus. Exactly. And they've done a good job from the strike tonight. Everybody's been pretty nice from the strike, and that's going to be key uh, as, as your game is is pretty tight going into the fourth quarter. And if they can score, you know, it, no time running off the clock. And if also Williams come, you know, this fast-paced action that you, you see the Eagles like to run, they like to push Absolutely. it, you can hit those things with the, you know, stop that. DeMonte Williams coming in and turning on the Jets and dishing at the, dishing in the lane, yep. getting those easy buckets, they can get back into it very easily. And you know, but it's all it all keys on the guards right now, both uh, Sims and Williams, because clearly Carter, Carter and Thompson both got a little cold. Clearly, both of them are uh, are the best players on the floor, and and the leaders for both of these teams, respectively. Yeah, both of them seniors, and not not many seniors on either one of these squads. Patterson, nice pass inside to Barnett. He's going to be fouled. Excuse me, that's not Barnett, is it? Brian yeah. Thompson on the foul. That is Robinson going to the line. And again, that is the 16th foul. One more there in the bonus, shooting one and one. 7.48 now. Rolls in the first. Four-point game. And I know, Mike, uh, being a coach, you know, uh, Coach Brees, generally here with us, uh, he talks about trying to have a uh, – Less than 10 point lead. Oh, yeah, if you can be within 10 points striking distance going to the fourth quarter, you got a shot to win. Got a you know, shot. You're sitting here with that four points. Uh, Summit definitely in striking distance. Good back door. Watkins missed him. Over to Sims. Thompson with the ball. Back to Murphy. Murphy drives. Running floater off the front of the rim, gets his own rebound Good off job. the glass, puts it in. Good left hand, young fella. Good left hand. Back to a six-point lead. Williams across midcourt. No-look pass. Calling for him to come back. Robinson. Back to Barnett to Williams. Williams. Seven minutes now. Carter. Drive through that zone and kick it. Carter looked a little reluctant. I think, you know, in the first half, he'd have shot that up quickly. Back to Carter. He's going to pull the trigger now. That looked good from here. Didn't make it. Williams, nice rebound over to Murphy. 6.44 remaining now here in the fourth. Eagles with a six-point lead. Murphy with the ball. Over to Sims. Sims back to Williams. Still plenty of time on the clock. No time to rush. That's going to be a foul. Oh, they call it a jump ball. Did they call that a jump ball? Wow. All right. Possession arrow, Eagles, they retain possession. It's going to flip back over to uh, 
Yep. Summit, Murphy's going to pull up. That time he definitely got fouled. And, man, he has just got a shooter's roll. I'm telling you, that Absolutely. is beautiful. Saw him sneaking in. He was the inbounder on that play. You see that? He was the inbounder on that play. He hung out on the, on the baseline out of bounds. When the ball started to move, he flashed up to the screen, turned or flashed up through the lane, turned around and hit that jump shot. Almost and was fouled like in the process. Almost kind of got that ability to disappear. And that's a huge swing right there. Yeah. You're talking, you were looking at a six-point game, now to nine. nine back to a nine-point game. There Williams can't find it. Rebound Murphy. Murphy all over the place. Sims open on the edge. Murphy's going to uh -huh. pass. I, I like that. We're going to see a uh, foul. Good dish inside. I believe that's on Robinson. Nope. She would like 30. to see Calvin Williams ask for the ball a little bit more down in the low post. He's got the size. He looks like he has the athleticism. He's asking for it right now. Sims pulls the trigger. Not going to happen. Way off mark. Rebound by Watkins. Murphy gets blocked by Carter. Nice job by Watkins. Better job by Carter. Carter came in, closed out nice. Nine-point game, 536. Sometimes what happens when you fall in love with that long jumper, people know you fall in love with the long jumper, and they know you're going to pull the trigger. And there it goes. That's what you're looking for. Yep, that's going to be a blocking foul on Watkins, and that's going to be one and one. They're in the bonus, and that's, you know, that's exactly why you're driving. DeMonte, I think you can do that for about the next five and a half minutes <laughs> and go to the line. Now you just, gotta, you just have to knock down free throws. Makes the first. Nice shot. Eight-point game. Seven. And we've got a substitution here as Watkins is going to come out of the game and Austin Osborne, the junior, is going to come in. Talk about young team. The sophomore Watkins coming out. Played some solid minutes tonight. Maybe picked up his dribble a little too soon. Dish and, well. Couldn't nope. quite hang on or he had a shot. I like that there back in off the glass. Great job there by Osborne, Osborne coming in Osborne. off the bench. Good job, good close out there. I did, like the, I did like the move by Williams. It was though. nice. It was nice to see him aggressive offensively <laughs> like that. And I like Patterson being an aggressive right there as well. The 6'4 junior. We've got a timeout now. Five minutes to go. What you think? Seven minute game. I mean, I think one of the big things right here is if Summit can attack the basket, draw fouls, and knock down free throws, and score with no time coming off the clock. I think they've got a shot of clawing their way back so into too. it. Well They're said. not out of it. Seven points. What do you think Independence has got to do to keep them out of there? Continue to work the ball. Be patient on offense. Don't, don't launch the long three-point shots if it's, if it's contested. Be patient, like I said. Work the ball, milk the clock a little bit, and see don't if you turn can it over. Don't turn the ball over. Don't foul. See if you can ex extend this lead. Make it safe for yourself in the closing minutes of the ball game, so you're not you're not frenetic. The remaining couple of minutes. If you'd like a copy of tonight's game, uh, our DVD, you can give us a call at 615-472-4032. It's $10 a copy, or check us out on our website at www.wc-tv.net. Check out our YouTube page. I believe we still have a Twitter account out there. You can give us a check out. Free updates at some time. You get some good information about what's happening on WCTV and here at Williamson County. You tweet equations, don't you? Uh, I tweet nothing. <laughs> My wife signed me up for a Twitter account back when we live in Texas and uh, put me on her Twitter account. And you know those annoying people, or I would say annoying people, like, you know, you hear you're like, uh, TGIF, and oh, yeah. I'm eating a sandwich for lunch, just <laughs> sat down. That's what I was getting, so I was done with Twitter. I have never tweeted. Nice drive. No tweets for the twit. Nice job there by Murphy. 
off the glass. I'm, I'm, I'm digging the off the glass tonight. There's been a lot so of guys using the glass. Old school basketball. And we've got Klein coming in, the senior. Klein's made some nice plays off the bench tonight. Number 25, senior, 6'1", 190. There he goes. Sims. And fouled. Oh, I thought that might have, been, have a chance to go in, too. Good flash to the, through yeah. the lane. Way Good, left just hand. Just a step behind him. Seven-point game. Now, Independence is in the bonus. Shooting one. Sims sinks the first, although he's not shooting one. He's shooting two at the end of the bonus. Uh, any fouls from now on, they'll be shooting one and one. Nice. Makes the second. Has nice stroke. Nine-point game now. Independence extending their lead. 4-37 here in the fourth. It's getting down to score every time now for the Summit. Uh, Spartans. Spartans, thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry, Summit. Sims wide open. Probably not necessary at this point of the game. No. But you've got to box out, Summit. Nice job by Carter. You've got to keep them off the glass, What a now. play by Murphy. Can't hang on to it. I agree with you. It's, he was so wide open, I think it was hard for Sims not to pull that trigger. Yep. But I think it, it would have been a huge decision just to back out yep. and take another about 30, 40 seconds off that clock. Yep. Or nothing else, make Summit come foul you. If you saw the way he just shot those free throws, he's, he's going to knock them down. Absolutely. You're not going to have a shot clock violation at this level. Good board. That is one thing I wish they would institute, even just a 45-second clock. Yeah, maybe. Strong. Yeah. Not so much, though. Good pull, good pull, good fight. Well, Patterson, right. Patterson actually had his hand on the ball. I was surprised Sim was able to even get a shot off. Take it easy, fellas. Klein and, and Williams yep. starting to yap at each other a little bit. Just play the game. Three forty-five now into Klein. Klein trying to go under. It's going to be a blocking foul on Williams. And Klein will shoot, and you see Klein jawing at him. I'm not going to fault the man because I used to do the same thing. <laughs> the ref stepping in between now. Good Hopefully job by, calming good those job guys by down. the ref. I really, I really, you know, other than a couple of traveling calls that might have been questionable, the refs have done a good job tonight with both the men and the women. Yep. And I, I like to keep it under control so those men don't do something they regret later. Good fight on the, on, on the, uh, on the held ball, which is fine. That's, go ahead, fight hard. Try to rip it from the other man. Yep. But once the whistle blows, it's over. Forget about it and let's move on. No doubt. No point in talking e about it. Easier said than done. Absolutely. <laughs> True enough. Again, it's every, if everybody were as perfect as we were. While we got a second, let's give a shout out to our crew here. We got uh, Lance down there working the Creed, helping uh, working the computers, helping Creed out, making sure we got everything up and running. And uh, we got Luke and Raquel up top. Creed waving hi, say hi to mommy. Although she's in Kentucky. Probably didn't pick up channel three in Kentucky. And we got Kellyanne there working the camera as well. Everybody doing a great job tonight. Lance bobbing his shoulders to the uh, jock jams. <laughs> it's hard not to. Couldn't reach that volume fast enough. <laughs> it's hard not to. You, sometimes you just got it in your blood, you know? You got to do it. There we go, Klein, the senior from the free throw line, makes the first, they've got to do that. Cuts it to an eight point game, 341 remaining, still lots of time. Nice stroke, Good seven job. He's point gonna, game. He's gonna press full court now, kind of figured he might do that. Now he backs off. But you've got to pressure the ball right at this point of the game. If yes. you want to get turnovers, just, that, like, just like that. Just like that. Got the tip. Klein comes away with it over to Williams. Seven points. Three, 25. Carey didn't call it. Out of control. Rebound. Carter comes away with it somehow. They're going to call If they call it, oh, they call the timeout. Good job by, <laughs> by Coach Ladd over there. 
understanding that something bad might happen. <laughs> Quick timeout. Turnover, jump ball, I want it, timeout. But give it to the referees right there. Yes. Just because Carter hit the deck right there doesn't meet, doesn't give you license to call the travel. I do like how Williams attacked that basket. He was a little Absolutely. better control at the yep. end. But uh, trying to make something happen, put two on the board or go to the line. 3-15, seven-point lead for the Eagles. A lot of time left in this game. Both teams shooting the one and one. We'll see what Coach Ladd's got brought up after this timeout. These Independence kids have been on their feet the entire game. I wonder if they can make some noise for their squad here. Down the stretch. I, I'm sure they can. Think so? I'm sure they can. Here we go, inbounds, Carter to inbound. I'm sure the plan might be to kick it to him after he comes back in. Yep, watch the inbounder. Drift over to over. Barnett. About 20 seconds is ticked off the clock here. Williams lost his dribble. Coach Glass going back to his 1-2-2 two, two zone. Williams going to drive, dishes to Carter. Carter's going to pull up, shoot the three, and Got brings it. it. Got it. Big 43, time. 47, four point lead for Independence. Just under three minutes now. Murphy getting the offense set. Calls for Sims, Sims comes across. Trap in that corner. Williams kicks it down to Murphy and we're gonna have a, almost thought he called a travel there for a second. We're gonna have another foul and Murphy's gonna go to the line shooting the one and one. Four point lead. 240 remaining here in the fourth. Lots of time. Would you rather have anybody else at the line right I, now? I think not. Although I, I've been impressed by pretty much almost all the free yeah. throw shooters we've seen tonight. Absolutely. This yep. is that one, give him the jinx. Carter comes away with the rebound, chance to cut it within one score now. Williams is gonna drive, kicks it across court to Barnett. Barnett back to Williams. Williams. Get it out of that corner, guys. Going to drive nice. over there to Klein. Is. Klein off the glass. Thought he was going to get contact and overshot it. 220 now. That is the toughest thing when you go up and think you're about to get hit. Yep. And Put it doesn't too much, happen. Too much mustard on it. Well, we've seen Klein make that shot several times tonight. Sims out of control, but definitely fouled. He's going to go to the line now. Four point game, 206. Murphy just missed a free throw to make it a five point, possibly a six point game. Sims has the same opportunity now. Sims makes the first. Big time, now you turn it into a five point lead. Robinson into the game for Klein. He makes this. In and out. Still two possessions. Rebound Patterson over to Williams. I think Williams still needs to be driving, trying to come up with something. There it Kicks goes. it out to Barnett. Barnett nails it. 48-46, two-point game. Big time. 148 now. Sims to Murphy. Murphy's going to drive up and over. He's going to go to the line. Patterson with the foul. Two point game. What a last 30 seconds that was. No doubt, no kidding. Sims hits two big free throws. Barnett comes down, hits a huge three in the corner. And now Murphy hits one to make it a three point game. Huge free throw now. Williams to the scorer's table, or to the scorer's table. Makes the second four point game, or not Williams, excuse me. That is Watkins, the sophomore. Huge free throws. Sims and Murphy, those four points are big. 49 46. Although I think. 
I think it may be 50-46. Well, they're saying 49-46 under the uh, board there. I'm going uh, man. There goes Williams. Williams. And there it is. That's what you've been looking for the wow. entire game. Back to one. 49-48. One-point game, 125. The Eagles' lead was as much as 10 points at one point. Murphy driving, trying to draw contact, doesn't. Rebound, Carter. 111 now, one-point game. Carter pushing the action, almost loses it. Wanted to travel there. Wow, what a pass. Oh, wow. What a pass. How did Barnett come up with it? 56 seconds. We've got a timeout summit. Well, maybe not. I don't think so. Oh, no. No timeout. No timeout. Nevertheless, a stop in the action. Let everybody catch their breath. <laughs> I'm going to hyperventilate up here. You ask if they can get loud, they are. There we go. Now they've come to life. Williams driving, dishes, and Robinson ready not it. ready for it at all. 48 seconds now. Full court. Press. Sims is trapped in the corner over to Murphy. There he is, you gotta look up. Murphy to Thompson. Thompson had Williams if he passed it. Back out to Sims. I think you've tried to burn as much clock as you can. I think it might be time to foul. Foul him. Oh, That's who you wanted it. to foul. Murphy's foul. gonna get fouled to go to them. As soon as Williams touched that ball, they should have fouled him. One point game. Murphy, two shots now, 27 seconds here in the fourth. Eagles lead by one. Good patience on the on the part of the Eagles right here. Coach Ladd talking to Williams and Robinson off to the side. Sims and Osborne back deep. Don't want to give up anything cheap. Klein back into the game. Murphy will take the first. He's already hit two big free throws before this. Makes the first. Two point game now. If he makes this, I think you're looking for Carter to take a shot from the outside. Murphy's gonna miss that. Rebound by Patterson. Williams a little out of control. Two point game, pulls up, blocking foul. They're gonna call it on the floor, but he's still gonna go to the line. He's gonna get two. Summit in the double bonus. 19 seconds now. What do you think, Mike? First game here on WCTV. <laughs> Could it get any better? Not too bad. Pretty exciting. Well, this is where all those, all those lonely foul shots in the gym should pay, should pay off. At least you hope so. Right, we got a timeout now by Coach Ladd. I'm sure he's going to say, "All right, if we miss this, what are we going to do?" And also, I think you got to be set up and let them know. Because I think on that last uh, defensive series or offensive series for Independence, as soon as Williams had that ball. I think somebody should have been fouling him. Uh, I haven't seen him at the line tonight, but everybody that we have seen has been able to hit some free throws. It's true. And not, you know, taking nothing away. As another big man to another big man, it's hard for Big Ben to shoot free throws. <laughs> so I'm not knocking you at 24, <laughs> but it's just we don't do that best job doing that. So I'm sure that's thinking, not, that's not what foul? you paid for. What are we going to do after you make both these? What are we going to do if you miss one of them? Going through all those scenarios over there. Well, I think you make one and miss the other, then you definitely have to you have to press coming up. Hard defense coming up. And, and I think if you don't get a turnover quickly, you got a foul with 19 seconds. Probably. Because even if you get down there and they hit both of them, you still it's a one possession game. But you've got to make one of these. Because if you don't, you allow them to go down there, there's an opportunity to put it to a two possession game with 19 seconds. It's about out of reach. Now the crowd comes to life. Here they go. 
see if they can get into the head of DeMonte Williams. Well, they may be in the one and one They are. He misses the first. Now you've got to go foul. Got to do it now. That, there you go, Klein. Klein, the senior. Don't pull the tee. Don't, oh, he did. He did it. He called it the intentional He did. Foul. He called it intentional. I don't think he was trying to do anything I don't think crazy. So either. That was a little too much. So. I don't think so either. And that was a little too much. They certainly didn't, didn't give him an opportunity to come down with the ball, but I don't. that was not an intention. And, 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 I mean, he pulled up. Yeah. He was pulling up. I mean, he hit him hard, but he was pulling up. It yep. might have been too uh, too aggressive for the referee's liking, so he, he and, crossed and, him and up. I think, you know, it's it, it, and it's human nature. You're standing there right by that student section. You know, they're all yelling. Yep. It's human nature. 12 seconds now. Indy leads by two. Intentional call fouled. Or intentional foul called. Intentional <laughs> An foul intro. called. About to get a couple of shots and the ball back. Free throw so huge at this level. And you know, Williams, you know, he missed that one early, but he, he, he's made several free throws. Yep. I mean, you know, yep. he's, he's had a good night. Well, can he do it in this type of situation with yes. the game on the line with nobody on the on the lane, on the outside of the lane looking at him? There we go. And everybody in the entire gym yep. watching him. Three-point game and the ball. Patrick Murphy. Makes the second. Big time. Patrick Murphy, the sophomore, haven't called his name much tonight, but those were two of the biggest shots that we've had all game. Absolutely. Make it a four-point game and you get the ball back. Now you've got a foul. Inbound to Quickly. Williams, you should have hit him as, uh, as soon as you could. Yep. Over to Thompson. Nine point game. Or excuse me, nine seconds left. Four point game. Thompson to shoot. In and out. Makes the second. Six point game, nine seconds now. We've got a timeout. That's gonna, excuse me, five point game. That's pretty much though gonna about do it when you got nine, nine seconds left here. It's gonna be really hard. It will be really hard. It's not. Not impossible. Not impossible. So what do you got dialed up here, coach? <laughs> Launch the three, hope you get fouled. Try to get a steal good look in for Tart. Steal the inbound pass and uh, and lay it in. Win the ball game, go home. There you go. Go get a Chick-fil-A. Okay. Three points, steal the inbound and score. That's tied. That's true. We're going to overtime. That's right. It's kind of a long shot. But I shot, won't give you we'll our see. time because I just said six-point game. So you know. That's anyway. true. <laughs> and you're the math teacher. That's right. I'm going to look out. Look out. <laughs> If you'd like to pull your child from my class, just give us Adam the call. 472-4500. Now this stands are shaking over here. And not just because I'm walking on them. <laughs> Got to launch. 
Carter going to fire it up. Not going to happen. He's fouled, though. He's going to go to the line. He He's going to go be to the line for three. three. Going to the line for three shots. And you, and you know, you know the coach glass, the last thing he said was, nobody no foul on the three. Nobody foul. Nobody foul on the three-point <laughs> shot. <laughs> Carter with the first. Coach, coach Glass is about to rip that tie off over there. <laughs> Makes the second. Uno Mas. Cut it to two. That, that, I mean, that's exactly what they needed to get back in. Absolutely. Right there. Absolutely. Now you've got, still got a one possession game. There you go. Two points now. Five seconds. Another timeout. This time by Independence. Both teams in the double bonus. And it's been a wild one here at Independence High School. Summit down by 10. The Eagles doing one heck of a job offensively. And, and you look at Summit clawing back into this game, not giving up, showing giving a lot of up. resilience for these young men. A lot of fight, a lot of heart on both sides. And, and you didn't see the Eagles let up either when not it was happening. All. I mean, they were fighting, trying to do everything that they everybody's, could to stop them. Everybody's taking, these, both, these teams yeah. have taken each other's best punch. No doubt. Nice job of coaching by Coach Glass and Coach Ladd here tonight as well. All around good game. And you got to think about those two, put, uh, those two free throws off of that uh, intentional foul and then getting the ball back. Does he put pressure on the inbounder? Sure does. Flying all over him. Could have had the five second call yeah. and there's the quick foul. That was a very quick foul. Good job there by uh, number five, Philip Sherry. Philip Sherry, if you don't know, scored the very first points on the very first play for Summit High School in a football game, ran the kickoff back, uh, I don't know, it was something like 96 yards. What a way to start a football season. No doubt. For, not just season, for the very program. first play period for the program. Patrick Murphy. Murphy makes it a three point game. <laughs> He can likely seal it if you knock this one down. Yep. He does. Great job by Murphy. And Sherry lets the ball go out of bounds. Assume that's not Sherry, that's Williams. 55 51. Independence up by four. Williams just holds, waits for the foul. Are they going to call it? They're not going to call that an intentional foul? Well, I, I think that he was trying to get them to call the foul. I guess so. And they wouldn't, and they he wouldn't was all over it. them. Wouldn't do it. Point four now. Williams to the line, the senior. Makes the first. Klein and Williams still jawing at one another down there. Yep. Something tells me those two may have probably seen each other on the football field before. What do you I think? I think you're probably right about that. Makes the second, and he's still talking trash. A great job by that young man of shooting. A great job by the Independent Eagles to come away with a big win here at home. Summit tried to storm back in and try to steal away a win, but Coach Glass and the Eagles just were not going to let it happen. Well, I'm Matt Hill, and I'm Mike Williams for WCTV. Join us next week, because we'll be right back here at Independence High School. You can check us out online on YouTube or at www.wc.tv.net. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.